Welcome to another episode of LNTV with your host, Jeff Charles. The debate over the rising popularity of socialism has intensified over the past few years. While most Americans still reject the idea of a more intrusive government, it seems the far left is winning with a key demographic, young Americans. To help us understand this disturbing trend, I'm speaking with Liberty Nation's economics correspondents and my favorite Canadian, Andrew Moran. Thanks for join joining me. Thank you for having me. Great. So you, you recently wrote an article for Liberty Nation discussing a poll showing that socialism is gaining in popularity up, uh, with younger folks. So can you give us the rundown on that? Yeah, sure. So it was a poll conducted last month uh, by Axios and Momentive. Uh, it found that 49% of Americans aged 18 to 34 possessed a positive view of capitalism. 46% did not. It also found that 42% of Generation Zers, which falls into the age demographic of 18 to 24, maintained a positive position on capitalism, but 54% said they disapproved of the present system. Now, there were two interesting statistics within this poll. The first was that young Republicans Republicans are shifting their opinions on capitalism, with only 66% of young Republicans holding an upbeat attitude about capitalism. But this was down from 81% in 2019. And then, of course, the main number is that a slim majority, 51%, of young Americans reported being ebullient or excited or having a love affair uh, with socialism. So these are concerning trends uh, going on right now in the United States, considering you know so socialism's track record and what's going on right now in Cuba. Sure. So, so what, in your estimation, uh, what is it about socialism that is so attractive to younger people? Well, it's about the attraction of uh, AOC. There, you know, it's it's all about the it's all about the messengers. You know, you have hip young people using social media, like uh, Representative Ocasio Cortez, talking about socialism and the various benefits without any of the consequences of socialism. You have you know talking about free tuition, free healthcare, guaranteed jobs, even you know basic income guarantee. You know, aside from uh, Bernie Sanders, I don't think too many young people would be excited about socialism if it was coming out of the mouth of Joe Biden or Chuck Schumer. Yeah. And then you know at, at the same time i mean what young person would also be excited about marcus from senator chuck grassley or uh senator lindsey graham you know there are anomalies of course like ron paul in 2008 and 2012 who was talking about capitalism free markets uh but i think for the most part it's it's the older conservatives boring conservatives uh who are talking about pulling yourself up by the bootstraps and you know how, why capital investment is the is the way to grow the economy and not socialism yeah, so it sounds like it's more about the messenger than the, than the message at this point, or at least they're of, at, of equal value. And so that leads me to my next question. I mean, conservatives and Republicans and others who actually value capitalism over socialism have had a, a, a very difficult time attracting young voters. Uh, why do you think this is? You kind of alluded to it, but, but, but overall, why do you think this is? Well, I, I will I will uh, uh, prelude with this saying that conservatives and Republicans are not the same thing. You know, they're not interchangeable whatsoever. There's too many Republicans who lean left or have you know embrace leftist ideas and who do a terrible job of at least advocating on behalf of, of the free market system. Uh, that said, I think the concept of conservatives and perhaps the GOP not being able to attract voters is is changing in, in this environment. You have groups like Young Americans for Liberty. You have Young Americans for Freedom who are reaching out on these college campuses. You know, it's about it's like it's like you said a couple of years ago. It's, it's about the messaging. You know, who would who would not fall for this coquettish mistress known as free stuff? When you're young and idealistic, you know, you only look to the goal, look to the end goal to use, you know, a sports analogy rather than determining what's going on in between those end zones. Uh, it, I think it's also, as you've been writing about, comparable to uh, minorities. You have repeatedly Republicans failing to reach out to the black and Hispanic and Asian American communities. And for many GOP, many GOPers, they, they view their campaigns in these quote, 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 unquote, unwinnable districts as, you know, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a futile endeavor. But I think for a lot of these conservative Republicans who, who appreciate the free market, they would be better served to view these uh, these unwinnable, so-called unwinnable districts by using it as, as a didactic campaign, you know, expressing the ideas of why free markets and capitalism and freedom are so much superior to, to the authoritarian boot of socialism. Gotcha. That, that makes sense. So, so what do you think this is going to look like in the future going forward? I mean, should we be worried that the, this new generation will remain socialist or do you think they'll grow more conservative with age or a little bit of both? 
Well, I, I, in my article at the end, I, I, I wrote about how age and wisdom will eventually defeat socialism because you know a lot of younger, a lot of older, a lot of the young people who become uh, older voters, they they reject socialism. You have that same poll that found I think it was. 55 or 60 percent of overall Americans uh, sub supported the uh, supported capitalism. So it's all about you know life experiences. You know once you get used to er earning a paycheck and once you get used to the IRS coming after you and and all, and all these variables, you start rejecting of the 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 boot of big governments. You know you, you don't want to be stamped uh, uh, by a big boot on your face forever to allude to. Um, uh, George Orwell in, in 1984. So, uh, you know, uh, 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 gray hair comes wisdom, and eventually the love of millennials and Generation Zers, hopefully, as they get older and work and participate in, in society, they'll realize that socialism is a failure. Sure, that makes sense. Well, one thing is for sure, right? I mean, if the if the right fails to develop a strategy to reach younger voters, the nation could move, move closer towards socialism sooner rather than later, or it could end up that with age does come wisdom. But either way, thanks for joining, Andrew. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And that's it for this edition of LNTV. Remember to hit Liberty Nation News for original articles, the Uprising and Rabbit Hole podcasts, and our signature television program, The Conservative Five. Just go to LibertyNation.com on your browser or hit Rumble, YouTube, or check out our Liberty Nation News Roku channel. I'm Jeff Charles. Thanks for watching. This program is a production of LibertyNation.com, conservative news where truth matters. Who are we? We are Americans that believe in liberty. We are a project of the nonprofit One Generation Away. We are patriots who apply the founding principles to the issues of today. And they keep moving the goalposts on us. We are educators and commentators who love America and the Constitution. Who are we? We are Liberty Nation.